Hey guys, how's it going? Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions, and today we're going to be looking at how you can fix it in post 2.0. So what that means is Adobe's new content aware fill tool. So now you can essentially remove boom poles, remove cable, stingle, stingle, stingles, stingers, or whatever it is out of your shot. Granted, it's not a magic wand that just erases everything. Well, it kind of is, but not completely. So if you have a really intricate shot, or let's say in my case, there's a shot where I had to remove some shoot, some boot laces because we didn't tie them properly. I had to send that to a professional and have them digitally removed. This won't necessarily be able to do that, but let's say you have something in a drone shot where somebody left their crafty on the floor in the shot or something like that. You can now digitally remove that in After Effects automated. So After Effects will do it for you because it's content aware. It'll figure out what the textures were around that object and then it'll do some kind of algorithm that I don't really know and I'm not even gonna act like I know. And it's gonna figure out how to digitally remove that shot which is a lot better than having to go inside of Photoshop and do like the clone stamp tool and do it all yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial and figure out how to use this new effect. All right guys, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna give you two quick examples on how you can use this effect. The first example is this one right here. Now there's a couple of things that we can remove. We can remove this graffiti, but I'm gonna give you guys another example and I'm just gonna remove this hiker that is walking up this shot. So as you can see, we have a dolly move and a guy that is hiking up this mountain into this cave. And in this shot right here, my friend Alicia is walking and we have a shot of my car way down there in the distance. Now it's not a big deal, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how we can easily remove this car without having to go into Photoshop and do all these technical things. And in this shot, we're just gonna do a manual mask keyframe animation. And in this shot, we're gonna do a tracked mask and we're gonna do the content aware fill tool for both of them. So for the first one, I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of actually animating it by hand right now. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did. So I just simply created a mask around this fellow right here, my friend Dylan. And this is After Effects 101. You just create a mask, you click on the shot, you create a mask and you bring your masks down to none. So you can see what you're doing. Cause if, normally it starts on additive mode Initially, you want to bring that to none so you can actually see what you're doing. Hit the stopwatch and you just simply animate your mask to follow the guy. Pretty simple. Next thing you do is you just bring that from none to subtract. And so now you just have nothing. You just have a interstellar black hole just chilling there. So now what we're going to do is simply enough, we're just going to click that, go to the content aware fill, and we're going to change this to objects because we're removing a person and generate fill layer. And bam, look at that. That only took about maybe a minute and a half. And if you can see, or as you can see, he is completely gone. Now it is not perfect. If you really want to pixel peep, you could probably see a little bit of distortion on where he was, but this is also just a 1080p clip shot on the Blackmagic cinema camera, the old one. But when I play this back, he is nowhere to be seen. which that is just completely amazing because if you were to do this the other way, and let me go on ahead and turn this to none. If I wanted to do this the traditional way, I'd have to go inside of Photoshop and digitally remove him frame by frame, which takes forever. But now just with a simple flick of the wrist or a simple, you know, that <laughs> it is, uh, he's completely gone. So easily it just creates a layer for you, just a JPEG or a PNG sequence. And he is, I don't know what to say. That's just amazing. So I'm really happy Adobe came out with this tool. Now that is if you wanted to animate a mask by hand. Like I said, you just create the mask path and you animate it by hand. In this example, really quick, I'm going to show you guys how you can do a tracked mask to remove something that is kind of not really a nuisance, but just a car down there. There's a lot of camera shake on my end when I was filming this, and that would be a bit of a pain to animate a mask to this camera shake. Granted, that would only take like three minutes, but the whole point of this tool is to make life easier. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and select that, hit G, I'm gonna go in, and I'm just gonna create a mask around this car. Easy as that, and I'm gonna go ahead and do none. Now, you're gonna go ahead and select your mask right here, and you're gonna go to your tracker. And the difference is, when you just select the layer, it's gonna want you to do a normal track camera or warp stabilizer, track your motion, you can create a null object, or you could do a 3D camera track, but we don't wanna do that. You want, we wanna do a mask track, if that's the official term, I don't really know. But we're gonna hit the mask, 
And now we're going to be able to track the mask to the footage. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the play button. Now, as you can see, this is way more convenient than tracking by hand. Now, the car is about to leave the frame right about here. So I'm going to hit stop. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to go in and do the whole shot. So I'm just going to do this part. So that's pretty, that's a very solid track. And like I said, if we had to do that by hand, it really wouldn't have taken that long. But the whole point of this process is to speed up our workflow. That's why Adobe's making these tools. So thank you, Adobe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do what we normally do. Hit subtract. Now we have another interstellar black hole in there. And we're just going to hit the mask. And we're going to do constant. Oh, wait. Now you don't have to do that. But either way, you're going to select this. As you can see, I have the range selected to work area and my work area is all the way over here. And I only really did the track all the way to here. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to bring it over because we don't want to analyze this entire shot. Now we're going to do generate fill layer. It analyzes the content aware <laughs> around it. It makes it aware and it'll fill it. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, if you're doing this on the big screen, if this was going to go in the movie theaters or something, or you're going to make a DCP and you have a big theatrical release, you might want to spend more time on this. But for something like YouTube, it does a pretty decent job. So we scale all the way out here. Let's see what we got. Anyways, guys, I hope you're able to learn something from this tutorial. I know I'm going to be using this effect a lot. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to because we won't. We don't do fix it and post around here. We just don't do that. But in some cases, when we do, this effect is going to come in handy. Anyways, guys, feel free to follow me on social media if you would like, and leave a comment down below if you want to see more tutorials on really anything. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.